Dr. Rank there and welcome back to another amazing Minecraft tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be explaining to you guys what each of the experimental gameplay features do in Minecraft Bedrock Edition so make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and let's get to what these features are and what you do with them going to want to do to firstly enable your um, experimental gameplay is you guys are going to want to go into and create a new world you cannot do this on older worlds so if you guys have older worlds do not use them because they will not work so basically all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tick one of these features and click activate experiments make sure you guys have a backup before you do this because otherwise it will not work and you will need to make another world because it does not work if you want to make another copy of the world maybe without experimental gameplay so it could be probably crashing your game or whatever it could ruin your experience so i'd recommend making a backup first as follows so basically the caves and cliffs guys that's basically featuring the new content from the caves and cliffs part 2 update so the caves and the cliffs generation that is basically what that experimental setting is the holiday creator feature is a data and block driven item features um, so basically this is from for them to receive feedback from marketplace and map creators So this is basically to help them understand what features are really working well with data driven blocks and item features as they can The creation of custom buy-ins is exposing parameters for buying generation to creators Enabling them to create their own unique buy-ins configurations Additional mobbing capabilities is allowing them to enable an earlier version of an API for creators a new version is in development. This struggle remains to support those who are currently using it. Upcoming creator features, which is one that quite a lot of my audience asks me about all the time. This is experimental features such as actor properties and fog volumes, and they are also receiving feedback on this from marketplace creators and map makers. So if you're not a marketplace creator or a map creator for them, then you will not really see the benefit of this feature too much. And then finally, enabling really framework is providing capabilities for creators to validate what their worlds and add-ons in Minecraft through a series of contained tests. So that is basically what these features are in terms of experimental gameplay. Look at the experimental gameplay features as you got a lot of you guys have been asking me to do for multiple multiple months now and I finally have gotten around to it. Like and subscribe if you guys are new Anchorites and I will see you super super soon for a brand new update. Bye for now Anchorites!